Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap! I'm Zelda Master and in this episode, we shall be doing a bunch of side quests here in Hyrule Town, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, now, I may have to do some things later, even though I'm going to try to do it in this episode, because there's going to be a lot of fusing kinstones and since they're so random and stuff, I might not have the kinstone or the character might not want to like fuse the specific one or something. I don't know, hopefully this goes as planned, but if not, Oh well. But anyway, first thing we want to do is make our way over here to this house with the little doggy. And as you can tell, this guy has a pot that we can flip over. He had it correctly, but we're going to ruin it so no plants grow out of it, I guess. And uh, yeah, right now we're this little minish and we're going to exit from here and uh, do some cool things. And the first thing I actually want to do now, though we are small, is... I wonder if I can fall in here. No, you cannot. That is too big for us, but yeah, that's a well. We can actually jump inside the well, but there's no point. You're supposed to actually use it to get out of some place, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, up here we have this really little vine that we can climb. It's super thin. Only a minish can climb it. And what we want to do is we want to make our way behind this ginormous building that is several floors. And here we'll find a pot as well where we can find a mystical secret piece of heart. And that's our first piece of heart for a new heart container so three more left and we'll have another heart container hopefully in this episode if all goes according to plan i will have a new heart container so yeah it's gonna be awesome we're gonna have another one in our collection our maximum life gauge it will be pretty rad anyways before we do head back and become back to our normal form there's something else i want to do and that is over here this is the bakery i never really got a chance to show it but there you go this is how it looks they sell a bunch of nice pastries sniff 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 Hmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I'd like. <laughs> I say, would you ask for me? You're not. You're a freaking hat, man. You're not eating anything. <laughs> but okay, so, um. Oh, that actually hurt us. I just realized that. But what we want to do is we want to make our way up here. And this will take us to a secret. This is basically the way top of, um, the bakery. And as you can tell, you can actually see it blurred in the background, all the pastries and stuff. It's so cool how you can be this high up and so freaking small and stuff. But what we want to do is pick up this chest that will give us 100 rupees. Yes, it's, it's a pretty valuable chest to say the least. Um, it gives us a lot of rupees and that will help us with something we're actually going to buy. I'll just buy it right now since I picked up this huge amount of rupees. So yeah, if you're looking for rupees, you want to head here and pick it up. And then uh, now you'll be able to buy something that is pretty expensive, I believe. So, yeah, it actually is really expensive. So, let's go ahead and uh, make our way back. You can talk to little minish guys and things, but I'm just going to ignore all of these people. Actually, there is something I want to do and quickly check out. Um, so, we do need a lot of red kinstone pieces, and those are the most rare to actually find. And those are the ones that usually give you big events. I want to see if this guy is willing to trade and if we have a piece for this little cuckoo or bird or whatever. He wants, he's going to give us a rupee, so nothing too special. And we do not have the piece it's looking for. Oh, okay, whatever. I believe the cat over here will also be willing to trade, but, you know, we might not have the piece for this little cat as well. Let's go ahead and try. So, would you like to fuse kinstones? Uh, we do not. We have, like, no green pieces. All right, we need to, like, go farming for some green pieces. You can find some from enemies from, you know, different, like, patches of grass and things. Like, it's really random how you pick them up, but, um, I'm not really gonna do that in particular. If I do happen to pick up some, then I will, and that's really how we're gonna go from there. But, anyways, uh, now what I wanna do is head over to the shop and pick up, yes, a new item, and that is the boomerang. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. That boomerang is a real bargain at 300 rupees. We're gonna buy it because we have well over the amount. And with that, we can now um, use a boomerang. So yeah, you basically buy it. So yeah, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and leave now. And no, as you can tell, he has a bottle, but we can't get it. We have to somehow sneak from behind. And look at that. There's a small minish entrance we can crawl our way through if we become a little minish. So we're going to try that in a second, but I want to do something real quickly while I'm at it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head over to the mayor's house, and I believe this is it. And if we talk to the mayor, so yeah, this mustache guy strikes, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? I just want to talk to him. So this is the mayor. Let's go ahead and try to fuse kinstones with him. And he should want to fuse a red one because it's a rather important piece. Yes, he does. 
And with this, we'll be able to pick up the giant wallet. I'm pretty sure it should trigger an event over at Lon Lon Ranch where we can head to. Yes, there you go. And the giant, huge wallet lies there. So, yeah, we can even hold more money even though we're freaking poor. So there's really no freaking point to have all of this, uh, you know, rupee space. But in the long run, it will be helpful, I guess. Also, you can flip this, and if you actually use your Pegasus boots, you can ram into these the wall and the masks will fall. And uh, with that, you can uh, find a couple Minish people in there, but nothing in particular I want to do there, so I'm just going to ignore it. Anyways, here, whoops, I actually did that on accident. I did the cool attack where you uh, attack mid-roll. But I want to pick up this red kinstone piece. It's going to be a little valuable, I guess, and it should help us out. Also, here, we can't push this. We're going to need more strength, so we're going to, you know, leave it for another time. But anyways, let's go ahead and now leave this place. And then, what I do want to do really quickly while I have this on mind, I'm trying to, like, make sure I get everything down. There's a lot of side quests I want to do, and I don't want to forget anything. So whatever pops to mind, I'll just go straight for it. See what this chick wants to do. She wants to fuse kinstone pieces. Hopefully something good. Uh, God dang it. All of them want to do green pieces, and I don't have any. So please, leave... Leave. Leave! Okay, jeez, she's just like standing in front of the door. God dang, okay. I believe she wants to trade as well. Let's see if we have anything for her. I bet we don't either, but we can always try. Yep, another green one. Oh well. Anywho, let's go ahead and push this though. And by doing that, this will help us out a lot. But what I do want to do is quickly turn into a Minish with this pot here. And then I'm going to make my way up here. And we'll be able to find some more Minish guys up here hanging out on top of the cafe. And you'll find, oh, look at that Forest Minishes. I believe one of the NPCs will tell you that the Forest Minish, yeah, the Forest Minish have come for a visit. Look at that, having a spot of tea, chilling out on top of the cafe. The cafe must smell really nice too, so I would like to chill there if I were them as well. But anyways, here you'll find a bunch of enemies. Let's go ahead and just ignore them and pick up this chest that's all the way over here. This will give us 10 mystery shells, and hopefully in this episode, I will explain what the mystery shells are for, because we should be able to head there actually right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do so. Um, let's do that real quickly while we are a Minish and act everything. Oh, you know what? And I forgot something. I am so dumb. I didn't wanna leave yet, because as you can tell, we are on top of the shop's house, and if we keep heading towards the um, right, we'll be able to make our way over here and <gasps> yeah, we're behind the shopkeeper's desk or rather counter. So this is cool. Now we can pick up this bottle, but uh, that'd be stealing of course. So I don't think that's what we want to do, but oh no, will we get caught? We did! Hey, I knew there was someone here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. Well, I'll work here, if, you know, but... That is uh, to say, eh, me and me alone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up then, can I? I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. That bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Borkin. What, you just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. Well, are you serious? Bottles are amazing in The Legend of Zelda. I don't understand how you haven't picked up yet, but it's the new, you know, craze. Anyways, uh, he's gonna ask us to feed his dog, and if we do, we'll be able to keep the bottles. So for now, you can't, don't really have the bottle necessarily in your inventory. You must feed the dog first, and then, yeah. So he'll map where this dog is on the map. He'll mark it, rather, not map the, not map it on the map. That doesn't make any sense. But there you go, he has done it. And we can see on the map it's over at uh, Lake Hylia, so that's cool and all. But yeah, there you go. This is where the bottle is. We can't really use it. It's a bottle of dog food for now. Soon it will be an empty bottle that we can use once we... Uh, once we feed his dog, man, I was just, like, gonna choke on air. Because <laughs> that's me. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and now make our way out of here and head to that area I was speaking of earlier where we can use the mystery uh, shells we've been picking up throughout the game to, to get really cool things. They added a lot of cool content within this game and it's all located here in Hyrule Town. It's ridiculous how much stuff there is to do, how many NPCs are throughout this. It's it's so crazy. <laughs> I love it so much. I don't know. <laughs> I explained it before. I just love towns like this and just exploring and doing a bunch of side quests. It's, 
it's my jam so yeah anyways I am getting I'm losing my train of thought I'm doing some stupid things I shouldn't be doing what I wanted to do you know what since I'm since I'm in my normal human form I want to go ahead and show you guys the bakery when we're a human and maybe buy something so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this pastry right here so welcome you've come to the one and only bakery of wheat ton and pita whatever so we're gonna go ahead and buy this special thing and they're usually filled with a piece of metal not with yummy creamy insides but no there is usually a kinstone in it yeah it's cool and basically this one was 20 rupees but they get more expensive as you go and the reason for that is because you might not get a kinstone in the cheaper ones and you most likely will in the more expensive ones so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one this should be I believe like 60 rupees I'm gonna go for it hopefully we can pick up a red kinstone those are the rarest like I said and I really want them so I'm just gonna spend my rupees here and see if I can get myself anything good so got ourselves another slice of cake that we can stack on and well, we get a green one we can try that with one of the NPCs here so I guess it's not that bad let's go ahead and buy this piece of pie I guess as well so welcome she has to say the freaking introduction every single time so yeah it's a fruit pie but uh, I'm just gonna take a bite of it and we'll be able to snack how much is it 40 rupees I'll go for it sure all right so um please yeah, we got another one. Look at all these kinstones we're picking up. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and pick up this croissant as well and just end it off there with this bakery because I think I'm getting a little full here. <laughs> but yeah, now we're going to be completely poor. It's whatever, honestly. We'll be able to pick up rupees as time goes on. And literally, we only had seven rupees over the amount we plan on spending in this bakery. And we got ourselves another green kin stone piece. So hopefully, we'll be able to trade with one of the NPCs here. Hopefully we actually have one for them. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. No, I need to roll in front of him. No, he's running away. God dang it. I wanted to talk to the mailman because we can also trade a piece of uh, a kinstone piece with him. You know, one of the halves. Hopefully he has the matching half or the uh, counterpart, I guess. But uh, too bad we couldn't because he disappeared. Or rather, he went off into the uh, other screen. So yeah, he disappeared pretty much. Um, but anyways, now that we have access to this side, which we never did, we can talk to this little dog. He also wants to trade a kinstone, but I'm sorry I'm in your way. So he knows he was in our way from the beginning. We could never access this area because the dog would be standing there. But now he'll move. We also have access to it as a minish if, you know, he does block our way. But let's see. Oh, yes. We can trade with him. Sweet. And let's see what we get. Good thing we grinded a couple kinstones from that bakery. You know, it was, was tasty as well as it was rewarding. So... Here is an area that will be active. I believe a chest should appear here over in the Minish Woods, so not bad at all. We can head there if we so desire. I'm not really aiming for that yet, but now what I want to do is make my way back here. So you can tell by these uh, small flowers, it kind of creates a walkway letting you know that this is an area for a Minish. Head inside. That's usually if it's not visible, uh, you know, to the naked eye. At least from that side, of course. But here's where the constructors are. Who cares? I don't really care about them. I want to go ahead and make my way over here. And this, everybody, is what we do with the freaking shells we collect. All those mysterious shells. If we talk to this guy right here. So, I collect those mysterious shells you've seen scattered all over the place. If you bring those shells to me, I'll trade you for these figures I have made. This guy's creepy because he made figures of pretty much every NPC within the game. So, you can get a more uh, closer insight on who they are and the details and stuff. Not necessarily every NPC, but you get what I mean. Like, it's little figures of certain characters. I find it really cool, and it works a lot like the Smash figurines. Uh, what you do is you give him a shell, and the more you collect figurines, the less possibility of getting a new uh, figurine, pretty much. So it's just like the way it worked in Smash, where you would end up... Uh, putting in coins and the more coins you'd put as time went on the more likely you'd get one but in the beginning it's really low because you haven't collected any of them so here we go we got a matter uh, pillar and yeah it's one of the enemies we've seen throughout the game so we're gonna click back and there you go so that's all we want to do I'm gonna go ahead and do it again I could constantly do it and unlock a bunch of figures but we can do that some other time when we have a bunch of mystery shells on us 
honestly, I would only be giving him one at a time when your chance is over 50%. If it goes under 50, you're most likely not going to get a new one if you don't give him more, I believe. But as you can tell, yeah, see, our chance goes up the more shells we give him. But I mean, 98%, why not just give him one more? Most likely, we're going to get a new one as well. Out of 2%, that'd be pretty unlucky, honestly. But let's go ahead and pull it again. See what we get. Hopefully, we actually get an NPC, not just enemies. Uh, see what this is. Little Yoshi shell as well. Uh, rather egg. It breaks out of. But the golden tektite. Nice. We killed one of these as well. I believe it only shows you NPCs you have seen before. So you have to talk to them or something to actually get their figures. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> I want to only do it like once or twice but I am hoping I get something new uh, not, not necessarily new because we're gonna get something new regardless I hope I get an NPC so let's go ahead and give him one shell again out of the hundred and some mystery shells let's go ahead and pull the lever as well and it's a blue one ooh will this be an NPC maybe from the town oh it's our freaking grandpa it's so Smith sweet I'm actually really happy I picked up that one. Alright, nice. Now, let's go ahead and um, make our way over... Oh crap, I might fall in the water on accident. Make our way over to our grandpa and let him know that we have a figure of him. You can head back there and also view all the figures you currently unlocked, but um, I'm not going to do that, obviously. But let's go ahead and see if we can stand in this guy's path. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, I don't want to buy it. I don't even have the money for that either. Ah, he just ran away. Whatever. Okay, so we, we want... Oh, wow, I'm just learning my words. What we want to do real quickly is make our way down here. And we should find our uh, grandpa chilling out. You know, working on some, you know, blacksmith things. But as you can tell... Uh, yeah, Ezlo wants to take a nap. I'm not going to do that because he wants to see our bed and you guys can actually sleep if you want to restore your HP. But what I want to do is actually fuse a kinstone with my grandfather. And, well, you look at that. We have the piece of the pie, literally, because it's cut like a piece in a pie. So, haha! -ha! And with that, another magical thing will appear close to Lamon Ranch. And we also want to head there because the kinstone we traded with... Um, the mirror earlier will also help us out with that, so it's a good thing we've done that. So finally, a perfect match I means something happens, whatever. Okay, bye! Um, see you some other time. <laughs> Alright, so now, before we head there exactly, I already have my cane out. There is something I want to do. Whoa, that looks so cool the way I did it there. For some reason, it looked like I did a spin attack while attacking as well. But anyways, here... We can use our cane and head up this uh, cliff where we're going to find Tingle, yes! Tingle's in this game as well. Awesome, right? And you can trade a random piece with him and he will unlock as well like a certain event that will happen on the map and we'll be able to head there. And look at him just doing his little dance. It's awesome. But there you go. Up here, one of the four like bushes that where we fought, uh, I believe, the... Moblins, as well as where we saw Vatty. We'll find it there, so in the north part of Hyrule, right before Hyrule Castle. So, they fit perfectly at last. Tingle can finally turn into a fairy, too. Cool. I'm just gonna leave him alone. <laughs> but he actually has brothers that we can trade with, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna head there in a second once I pick up my rewards here. So, the uh, Kinstone trade with our grandpa gave us a bottle, so that was pretty good. But let's go ahead and head north from here. And uh, I actually want to see if these guys want to trade anymore. I already traded with him. Does this guy want to trade? No, he does not. We've already tried that before. But I honestly forget. Like I said, a lot of this is from memory. So, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, let's go ahead and make our way to Lon Lon Ranch. And uh, on the other side here is where the certain event happened. Oh, let's also see if uh, Talon wants to trade. He does. Okay, sweet. So, do we have a piece for you? Yes, we do! Woohoo! And this should make something else cool happen. Let's see what it is. I believe something in the Minish Woods. I'm just assuming. Yeah, it is actually. It's heading to the Minish Village as well. I'm surprised to actually remember that. I don't know how, but yeah. Um, it's just some type of treasure. A lot of these are unnecessary. It's usually the red ones that matter the most, but... I don't care, I like doing them all. So yeah, deal with everybody. 
But here, we're gonna find ourselves a... Yeah, the big wallet from doing the whole Kinstone trade with the mayor, as well as... We don't want to leave yet. Now that we do have the Pegasus boots, remember those uh, weird bushes that were glowing? Oh, also, as I want to say something, so... Those cows look delicious. What? They can hear you! Don't let them hear you! No, cows, we're kidding, even though I'm trying to chop you up right now. Okay, let's go ahead and ram into this tree that was sparkling, and with that, we will break it, and we'll have the stump appear to where we can turn into a little minish. Now, at the end of this little walkway, we'll be able to find a piece of heart. Yeah, is this our third or second? Our second so far in this episode, so not too bad to say the least. Now, what we want to do is quickly roll our way all the way back, and uh, then we'll be able to do something else. And that will be... I guess we're going to go ahead and head over to where we unlock that cool event with Tingle. I actually want to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and run real quickly. I like how you can actually stop the Pegasus boots uh, while running, unlike in... Uh... Actually, no, in A Link to the Past, you could as well. I don't know. I guess I just never did. I just like ramming into walls and stuff. But up here should take us straight to Hyrule Town, so that's cool. Please don't stand in my way. Okay, well, he did. Who cares? I believe up here there's also a stone I forgot to trigger. Yes, I did. So this sacred power, blah, blah, blah. This will all make sense, I believe, literally right after the next temple and you want to make sure you have all these stones crumble because it will be so helpful so don't forget and god dang it we missed him again <sighs> okay so anywho let's go ahead and quickly make our way up here oh I'm gonna avoid this guy and pick up this uh special thing that's in here and that is actually a <gasps> Yeah, it's a kinstone piece. It's actually a red one too, which will be really helpful. Hopefully this red one will help us with someone we need to uh, get something done with, I hope. I don't know, but let's go ahead and actually make our way up here. And there's uh, two things we can pick up. I think the only thing that we can currently pick up is up here, because this part of the garden has opened up for us. And if we destroy these small bushes, we can head down here, or rather tall grass or whatever it is, and find another one of these dojo things. But since the room is dark, we cannot learn anything from him. Though there is a piece of heart, so that is our third piece of heart. Sweet. But uh, sadly, that is uh, all we can do here. We'll come back later though sometime and finish up business. Um, anyways, now, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else I have to do. Oh, you know what? That red kinstone piece we picked up, I think will actually give us access to a really cool place. Uh, I hope this is the red kinstone piece I want that we just picked up from Tingle, so. We're gonna see. We can go ahead and run all the way over here. And then, in this house, this yellow house right over here, we'll find this guy. Let's go ahead and try to trade with him. This little stranger dude. He should... Ooh, sweet. Okay. Should want to trade with us, and by trading, we can get ourselves a thing in front of our house. This is going to be a weird egg-shaped portal that will take us somewhere randomly. It's actually kind of interesting, but at the same time, it's not. I don't know. It's weird, to say the least. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head there and actually see what lies there real quickly, because... Uh, there, there is a couple kinstone pieces we can get by heading through that portal. Uh, though we can't do everything we want to do there yet. It's a portal regardless and we want to check it out real quickly. So we're inside this house. We're actually locked in this house too. And we should find a kinstone piece. Hopefully we'll get ourselves another one in this one. I'm pretty sure we do. Yep. Two green ones. So one red for two greens. Not bad. And if we make our way over here. Can't head through there so I'm just going to ignore him. Also gonna ignore this fat chick as well. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if she's necessarily fat, but she has a pretty big head. Um, so you have this guy. He is sick. And there's a ghost haunting him. I believe that's why he is sick. So, uh, in my youth, I call... whatever. Okay. I just want to go ahead and try something. And that is, if we use our freaking... Uh, Guster, we can actually suck this ghost like freaking Luigi in Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, Ghostbusters or Luigi's Mansion, whatever. You gotta stand in front of it if it will let me. Can I? Come on. It won't freaking let me. Come here. 
Okay, for some reason I'm having trouble doing this. It shouldn't be that hard, but you should just easily be able to suck it up. Like so. I'm gonna try again. If I just stand in front of it, will it work? What? There we go. I just suck it from its head, I guess, and... Well, well, look at how the color has come back to his face. However, can I thank you? I still heard his hotel. Also, I just realized it was a chest, but let's go ahead and talk to him now. So what, an evil spirit has taken hold of me? You drove it away? Yeah, I sucked it up. Actually, I just spit out some dust, so it must be back in this room. So, sorry, dude. <laughs> but I'll get out of bed soon. And since we saved him, we got ourselves like 100 mystery shells. That's cool and all because, yeah, we can we can go ahead and get more figures if we so desire, but I don't really want to do that. Alright, so, we got ourselves three freaking kinstone gems within this, or kinstone pieces. Don't know why I called them gems, but, um... Yeah, okay, so I don't think there's anything else I particularly have in mind except one more thing I want to cover in this episode. Um, there are still a couple, I believe like two more pieces of heart that we could have collected, but uh, let me see how many kinstone pieces I actually have. We can check our bag. We only have one red one, and we're gonna need two red ones for those. So I most likely have to go farming for rupees and buy some from that merchant Goron that's over, that Gor yeah, Goron merchant that's over at uh, Hyrule Town or something, hoping that I'll get the piece I'm looking for because, um, yeah, I don't think I have the pieces I need. Which sucks, sadly, but um, we can always try some other time. Anyways, I'm making my way up here for a specific reason, and that is actually to head over to Lake Hylia, because remember that bottle we have? We can't necessarily use it without uh, without feeding his dog. We have to give the dog some food, and then we'll be able to use it, so yeah. Also, ooh, there's a piece of heart. I can't get it, sadly, but I can view it from here, which is nice. But up here is where his house is, just kind of slightly in the center of where like Hylia is. We can't really do much here. All we want to do is go ahead and drop some dog food here. There we go. We now have an empty bottle for everyone to share. So that's awesome. Let me go ahead and see if I can trade with this little dog. Should be able to trade if I turn into a minish. So yeah, she does. Okay. My master stock well has been coming or has yeah, been coming far from home pretty late. I'm lonely. That sucks. That really does suck. He should take you with him, because he's actually really far from here. But what I do want to do is trade with this dog. Let's see if we can trigger something cool. Yes, we can. Yay! And I don't know what this is going to do, but whatever it does, awesome. I'm happy that I have it now. <laughs> we can always head there and pick it up. Oh, this is an area we haven't yet seen. And chest will appear. Sweet. Which should show us on our map. It's somewhere in Lake Hylia. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn back into my human form. And well, uh, I think I'm gonna end off the episode here. Like I said, there are a couple more side quests I have in mind that I wanna do because let's see how many pieces of heart we have. We can get ourselves like three more pieces of heart right now, I believe, or two, not entirely sure. I think, yeah, I think, I know we can get two. I'm 100% sure we can get two more, but we're gonna need kinstone pieces for that. Uh, and one of them is actually located in the Hyrule Castle Garden, like the Garden of Hyrule Castle, but I don't have access to that area because for some reason I can't find the NPC I'm supposed to trade with that will open up that area. It's actually like 100% random. So I guess before I do end off this episode, I will try one more time to trade with that little uh, duckling and see if I have the piece for it, maybe the cat? I assume one of them will give me access to that area. Just assume, I don't know, I, I, for some reason I just have a feeling it's gonna be an animal. Now that I do have a lot of kinstone pieces on me from getting them from those other places, I might be able to do it. So let's go ahead and talk to this little duckling and see if it still wants to trade it. Might not. Okay, it does. Sweet. So you want to cheap cheap fuse kinstones, peep? Please? Yes, we do! Okay. Let's see, does this do what I'm thinking of? I don't honestly know, but I hope it does. Uh, no, it does not. Never mind. Okay, I am actually wrong. This, this, well, this gives us a chest, but not the thing I was looking for, sadly. Oh, well. Okay, so I guess I'm going to end off the episode here, and uh, we shall continue on in the next one. Does this guy want to trade? We'll also trade with this cat, I guess, if we do have the piece for it. We do! Woohoo! Okay. 
Trading some more kinstone pieces. Yeah, I'm most likely going to grind though off screen. So in the next episode, I have some more random kinstone pieces that I can continuously trade with people. Sadly, this is not the one I was looking for as well. I guess I actually don't know how to trigger a certain event that will give us a piece of heart. Uh, sadly. So, yeah, there is one piece of heart I don't know. I guess I am no master after all. Not really. Um, I'll figure it out in the next episode, though. I also have some more kinstone pieces, hopefully. So, yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll cover a little more side quests, kind of just the stuff I wanted to do in this episode, but I couldn't. And we'll also, um, be heading to the area where the next temple lies, and that's over here. So, in the caster wins. So, Get hyped, everybody. But yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Anyways, I've been Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.